Hey guys, welcome back to the Zane Investing. We will be discussing AMC Entertainment, ticker symbol AMC, an ape. In this video, we will examine how keeping hazardous assets like his AMC feeds becomes progressively more expensive for hedge funds and family offices. In this video, we will also examine AMC positive cash flow in Q4 and many other topics. Ensure that you watch till the very end. As always, the AMC chart is available for review. Now, obviously, for this, if you haven't already viewed my Sunday Perspective video, you should discuss what I anticipate to see and what I want to see during the week. Now, I've already stated that today was going to be a very important opening, as I believe it provides a great deal of clarity for Monday in terms of what we can expect to see during the week. As I stated in the previous video, we discussed how Nasdaq futures were in the red. Therefore, there may be an increase in selling on Monday, which will have an impact on the market as a whole and on AMC. Consequently, we are down 2.4% today, closing at 7.33. Keep in mind that we are still consolidating between the area of 703, 762, and 772. If we are able to maintain a zone, it is simply forming a higher low in preparation for a breakout into a higher high, which is not a negative thing. This is a low point, then, as before achieving a new, higher peak. Therefore, this is what we are observing now, now, and again today, as we did not receive a gap up opening and broke out of the 772. It will be quite difficult for us to predict price movement approaching the 124 area. This will not occur at this time. No, there is still a possibility. However, the likelihood is obviously lower than if we were to obtain a gap up opening. This week's Catalyst contains a number of the topics we want to monitor first. Now, Catalyst always plays a significant role in AMC movement, so you must clearly keep an eye out for it, but also putting into words how we will be breaking out of the 76 and 772 zone if we see a strong breakout such as a candle like the one we saw on November 11 breaking out of the 772 zone. Then we will see the likelihood of breaking and even going above the 824 and closing in between the 824 and 8,884. And it would be extremely beneficial for MC. Consequently, as previously stated, we must observe its reaction to the 762 and 772 zone this week. In addition, we have seen customers coming in thus far. Now, purchasers didn't truly win today, but there are buyers coming in near the bottom of the AMC share price range. When compared to 8.4, 8 is essentially identical. Today, we reached a new low of 1.9. We have lost 6.56%. Now, we have discussed this in terms of providing a lower price range for where AMC could potentially go which is $1.11 and $0.08 cents for 8. This is due to a debt calculation for AAP, which looks at 0 0.88 if you wanted to raise X amount of dollars, which in this case was $5 billion. You would want the lowest price for AAP, which will be 0 0.88. As a result, we believe that here is where hedge funds are attempting to drive the price down to 2, or at least to a rate that is lower than that due to premium rates. Consequently, it is rather common to observe the current pressure buildup. It is something we should anticipate. As I previously stated, however, as soon as we locate a new support, we'll be looking at a movement that we anticipated during the middle of October. It is ultimately up to you to decide whether individuals will be frightened out of ability or whether they will continue to hold on to AAP. This is not an obligation of a financial counselor. Consequently, conduct your own due diligence and research. Looking at the data again, which demonstrates the significance of AIP and the reason why they are driving it down, I believe that this is the reason why AIP is taking the strain. If you check at LC, you will see that this is not a unique incident. They are all connected to the underlying fraud upon which the whole U.S. financial system rests. The Fed scam of injecting liquidity to sustain bank of funds and Wall Street and frauds such as SBF are coming to an end not the same as solvency. As a result, the primary consideration here is, of course, the fact that it is growing increasingly expensive. Now, the obvious explanation for this, because the ultimate objective of a squeeze is for firms that are shorting AMC shares to cover their positions. The season is autumn. Obviously, 
There are numerous ways to accomplish this. Some say dress, while others say, you know, purchasing and etc. 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 Obviously, there are numerous other catalysts, but the ultimate objective is to induce them to cover these shares despite the fact that their prices are rising. In addition, we will later examine the cost of borrowing. This will motivate and drive the covering of these short shares as the cost of doing so increases for these companies, as will the cost of premiums. Now, I am convinced that this is the initial step toward increasing pressure on businesses. Due to the cost associated with shorting AMC, there will be a significant reduction in the short interest for AMC. Now what it means is that you will immediately see shorts covering. I don't believe that to be the case. However, as I previously stated, the fact that AMC is becoming progressively more expensive does alleviate some of the strain we face. As said previously, this is of the utmost importance, and reducing the pressure enough is already of the utmost importance. One of the reasons is that we observe AMC, and we observe people buying AMC, but we do not observe price movement. This is because there is so much short pressure, which is essentially squelching the buy pressure. Consequently, if we are able to minimize this cost, AMC will be able to grow and reflect their appropriate price. Why is this significant? Why am I bringing it up? Well, one of the most important factors and one of the most important reasons why corporations are shorting AMC in the first place is that AMC is a company with poor fundamentals. Obviously, at the beginning and peak of COVID, it was impossible to claim that AMC was doing well. Fundamentally, though, it shares characteristics with progress. COVID-19 has become somewhat more available at this time. AMC fundamental improvement eliminates the rationale and context for shorting the company. And finally, if you examine the cost of borrowing, you will notice that the cost of borrowing is increasing daily. Obviously, this is the average rate. And with each rate increase, it reveals how much these hedge firms are suffering and how much pressure they are under. If you examine the cost of borrowing, you will see that it is 34.69%, which is an 8% difference from 7 days ago. However, shares are priced at peace on 180.54 rather than loans. Now, obviously, the data is not always accurate in terms of how precisely we know it. However, there's one thing we know for certain, hedge funds are. It is currently profitable to pay large sums of money to borrow AMC shares in order to short them. And if you want to truly get this, you must realize that the reason people are willing to spend this kind of money is because they want to avoid being squeezed dry. And I believe that each day that the cost of borrowing grows is crucial. In addition, we are examining the days to cover, which is currently at 7.4, which is another significant factor. Consequently, I believe that a multitude of factors are presenting as positive pressure for AMC, Abe, and you people. That concludes the VIP men's enjoyment. If you people did not ensure that I could score, I will catch you next time.